What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster Platinum playthrough. Guys, we're now on part number 13, and we finally, finally got the freaking green dragon. Okay, this took forever. How many Lamias did we kill? 24 Lamias trying to get this bloody thing. How many Mithril Golems? Nine Mithril Golems we have killed as well. All in order to get just one green dragon. This thing freaking sucked, okay? This was an absolute nightmare to encounter. Just look at the time on the clock and look at my character levels now. This was horrible, but we have it. We finally finally have it oh my god that was so it was so hard to encounter man it was actually so freaking hard to encounter but at least now we do have it so we can actually move on now to the next area and in fact i'm pretty sure that is actually the best to complete now for this place uh we got balloon we got sorcerer we got ghost knight yeah we we got everything okay so we could actually go ahead and turn the um, encounters off now which you know what i think i will do just because you know it saves uh it saves a bunch of time we don't we don't need it on or anything like that so we might as we might as well you know, just save that little bit of extra time. We'll go through, get the treasure chests, leave this place, upgrade the airship, and maybe start some, uh, maybe start some side quests. Right, that should be the last treasure chest. That was indeed the last treasure chest. So uh, let's go and finish this place off. Now that uh, now that we are done there. Also, guys, 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 if you got 30 minutes spare and you want to help out the channel, consider taking part in the Puzzles and Survivors sponsorship we have going on. There's only a couple of days left for us now, and we are still missing a few, a few signups. So, you know, if you want to help out the channel, use the download link down below in the description. Just get to level 5 and also complete an attack on a lair. So, rally an attack on a lair. That's all you got to do to massively, massively help out the channel. This will also be the... Uh, the last video i mentioned it on for ff4 but if you do take part in it a huge huge thank you it does mean a lot right with that said we do have the tower of babel done now and we do have a new airship the only problem is for some reason it suddenly can't fly over lava yes this was the exact same airship that chased us over lava earlier but now it suddenly got downgraded which kind of sucks it's fine though we can we can upgrade it really really easily all we have to do right now is go back to the uh, the dwarven castle pretty much honestly i don't really think it was necessary to make us do this step but obviously you know back then games were very limited on uh, like memory storage size and all that so they had to do what they could to make it a little bit longer so we're going to speak to the uh, the king Geot, basically have a little conversation about him. We are going to get a key item. We're going to get Luca's necklace, and then we just need to go to the uh, the hospital here, basically, and that's going to allow us to upgrade the airship, then, which will allow us to fly over the lava, and then. Then, 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 once we can fly over the lava, we can actually visit basically everywhere in the underworld and there's going to be a huge amount of stuff we can do here okay like seriously huge huge amounts so first things first in order to get to the uh, the hospital we need to go to the um northeastern stairs basically where is it the northeastern yeah it should be right Nope, wrong way. Yeah, that was the right way because it's in that floor. Man, I, I always get lost in the dwarven castle. But yeah, this is this is where we need to go. We're going to see a familiar face here. Oh, look who's sleeping, guys. Look who's sleeping. But yeah, so we're going to have a bunch of optional stuff to do now, including getting a bunch of new summons for uh, for Rydia. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, we're going to get some new gear. Obviously, we're gonna visit a whole bunch of new places, and then I suppose we'll continue on with the game. 
really. But yeah, as I say, there's there's quite a lot of optional stuff we need to do first. With that said, though, okay, with that said, we actually don't have a huge amount left to do right now. Like, it's not there's not a super big amount or, or anything like that. We've got to do uh, the cave and land of summons. We've got to do the Sylvan Cave, Sealed Cave, yada, yada, yada. Then we go up to the moon, get Bahama, do the giant of Babel, finish off some side quests, and then it's just like the lunar subterrane, pretty much. So there's really there's really not a lot left. We'll probably we'll probably be done by I mean, we're on part 13 now. Actually, where is it? 13 or is it 14? Uh it's 13. Yeah, it's 13. Okay, so we're on part 13 now. We'll probably be done by, like, maybe part 17? Yeah, probably around there, like, 17 to 20, I would say. It's like, obviously, you know, RNG is going to be a, a big deciding factor in how long this takes us. And Sid died. Oh, Aw, oh, poor Sid. Nah, he's only sleeping. Man, he's he's the one character that actually survived here, dude. He's the one character that actually survived. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so now that now that Sid's upgraded our ship, though, we can safely leave. And, oh my god, I'm yawning. I need more coffee. Yeah, don't don't mind me. I've been up super early this morning. I had like an hour and a half sleep last night. Don't worry, just one of those nights. Couldn't really sleep, and then I had to be up early to take uh, Nana Primal for a blood test. And that's all. Nothing, nothing serious. Just a general, you know, routine checkup and all that because of her age. Yada yada yada. Nothing to worry about. She's fine. Uh, but yeah, I only had like an hour sleep last night, so I am pretty much perpetually living on coffee right now which isn't really you know a bad thing or anything like that but i i do believe i need a top up which we will go and do in a minute so first things first we're going to take our newfound airship and we're going to head on over to tomra now tomra does have a bunch of new stuff for us to buy uh, we are going to spend quite a quite a bit right now and it is going to be expensive Okay, it is going to be expensive. So if you haven't been using the, um, you know, the the gill booster or anything like that, then you might be a little out of uh, a little out of luck here, unfortunately. So we're gonna buy one Asher for Edge. We can buy Chain Whip for um, Radia if you want to, but realistically, we're probably not really gonna use that. No, Armillo. So for armor, okay, we're going to buy two diamond shields. We want one for each character. Two diamond helms. Two diamond armors. However, for gloves, we're only going to buy one of them, okay? We're only, we're only going to buy one of them. Uh, gold hairpin, we are going to buy one. So that's for Rydia. And then diamond armlets, we are going to buy two of them as well. Okay, so now we are basically fully geared, and let's do it, shall we? Okay, so first things first, equip. Optimal, man. Look at look at all that stuff. Yeah, look at all that stuff. All right. It's nice finally upgrading everything. We, we needed that little upgrade. That should massively, massively increase our defense right now as well. So now that we've done that though, we just need to uh, go and actually get a, a bunch of the items and the collectibles. So in order to do that, we're going to go all the way up to the northwest in this house right here. Obviously, there are four treasure chests for us, and there are also some hidden items in the pots that we need to open up as well. So there we go. We got the two pots and the four treasure chests. If we look closely now, four out of four and two out of two. So we're done. Yeah, it's it's really that quick in Tomra. Like there's really there's really not anything to uh, to do there. So with that said, let's move on. And I think next we will head on over to the Cave of Summons. So we might as well go over and quickly do that. It's basically the little island over on its own, sort of in the bottom left. Before you go in here, though, heal up and save. Okay, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in this place okay a lot of stuff so we need number 80 
Hal Flapper. I'm going to go over the best story here, I should say. So we need number 80, which is Hal Flapper. And let me just load the best story up. Come on. Right, so number 80 is Hal Flapper. And then we want to go all the way down to 113. Okay. So this is Balfagor, Bloody Eye, Warrior, Mini Satana, Arachne, Thunder Dragon, and then 122 is king naga now just be warned the satanas will counter attack any damage with confuse okay now the summoners can basically summon any monster from this dungeon so they can basically you know summon a bunch for you uh, thunder dragon is super resistant to magic damage and king naga can be spawned by the summoner but in here it's really rare in general so i would suggest just waiting for that until later but now though cast float on everybody okay a lot of the floor in here is really really damaging so we want to uh, we want to avoid that as much as possible, and you are going to have to uh, you are going to have to cast that on every single floor as well. Now, first things first, head on up to the right for a treasure chest with a phoenix down. Then we're going to go through the invisible wall to the left for another treasure chest with an ether. Once we have that, we're going to go all the way south for another treasure chest with a high potion. And then we're actually done on this floor. So we can go to the west, follow the path around and take the stairs. Now, I did say, obviously, cast float. As you can see, we are now taking damage. And I need to stay encounters on. Whoops. But yeah, we are now taking damage again. So I need to recast float to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of avoid that little issue. And then we're going to go down to the bottom right for another treasure chest. Don't worry too much about, uh, you know, making sure you get the best three in here on the first go. Doesn't, doesn't matter, you know, a huge, a huge amount. Oh, we got Thunder Dragon, nice. Yeah, it doesn't matter a huge amount because we can always, we can always come back here sort of, you know, whenever we want sort of thing. So again, it's not the end of the world. Wait, I just, I turned auto battle off. Oh, it was actually that I actually wanted to change as well. Hmm. I mean, I'm still going to use Quake and then Edge Attack. Rosa can use Kyorga AoE. That's kind of all we're going to be doing now for a while. We're just going to keep that setup going. The reason I put R uh, Rydia on Quake instead of AoE Bio is just Quake is 10 MP more, but it's way stronger. So we're going to be spamming that. Wait, Rage of the Gods. What? What is that? I can't even remember what that is. Oh, it's just Wandara. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. And then best three is just scan. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Okay. Let's go get the other treasure chest here. Charlery with a nice little cottage in. Honestly, cottages are really, really nice because, you know, they're, they're healing, basically. So they're always going to come in kind of kind of handy for us. And, you know, we are actually probably going to use most of them, to be honest. It, all, it does depend a little bit on, you know, the kind of the kind of RNG we get. If we get good RNG, we might not have to use many of them. If we get bad RNG, we're probably going to need, you know, quite a, quite a lot of them, unfortunately. Right, so with that said, on to the third floor. And the third floor is pretty, pretty easy, to be honest. Oh, we actually got King Naga. I was not expecting that. I actually thought we were going to have to get King Naga later. It's so, like I was genuinely, genuinely expecting to have to get that later. That is actually a really, really rare mob. So that's really, really nice. That's just saved us a ton of effort, that has for sure. Right, first treasure chest on this floor is a Phoenix Down. And then we're going to continue on over for this one, which is just enough of mastery and then we're just going to continue on to the right into an invisible wall and as you can see there are some invisible pathways leading to a bunch of treasure chests so we're going to go get them right now oh nice there's arachne wait if they added they've added bras in this version interesting i'm pretty sure in the snes version they don't actually have bras huh well giant spider booba it's like I'm sure a lot of you will not complain about seeing that. All right, monster in a box. Just some warriors. Nothing really dangerous or anything like that. So we don't need to, we don't need to worry too much about that. 
Although, what I will say as well is we are about to actually get an amazing weapon for Cecil here as well. It's like, if this, if this is the one I'm thinking of, it should be the Defender, which is really, really strong. It is. Okay, sweet. We're going to equip that, like, instantly. As you can see, a really, really nice upgrade. Gives me huge accuracy boost, massive defense boost, and a massive, massive attack boost as well. And if we wanted to use these as an item, it actually just casts Protect on us. So, super, super nice to get that. All right, now let's go get the last three treasure chests. And then, believe it or not, we're actually done in here uh we will still have the uh, the best story to do after these treasure chests but we're gonna take a look at that in a second and just see how many we are missing okay well, there's the bloody eye which is nice that's that's another new one hopefully though hopefully we'll have most of them let's see um we've got bloody eye we got warrior we got summoner we got arachne we got thunder dragon and we got king naga so we need the Satana, Balfagor, and Hal Flapper. Yeah, those those are the three that we need, isn't it? So it shouldn't actually be that difficult, to be honest. Then, yeah, we should we should end up getting the uh, the last few pretty pretty quickly. Should do anyway. All right, first things first. Let's just go ahead and equip everybody again, just to get all the new equipment equipped. Right now, with that, let's just get the uh, the bestery, shall we? We just need the final bestaries, which is again Balfagor and oh, I forgot the other one. Can't remember its name. I've literally only just said it. Uh, my mind is just broken. I suppose. Yeah, my mind's just broken. Uh, Mini Satana. Yeah, and Hal Flapper, of course. So like we could we could just get into a fight with Summoner and let it keep on and on and on summoning, which actually, you know what, might be uh might be a pretty good idea, actually. Oh well there's the mini Satana. So that's not too bad. I'm actually gonna turn auto battle off here until the quake goes off. Just because I want the Satanas to die in one hit. I don't want them to just sit there confusing me all fight, basically. Because then that'll just take forever. So I'd rather just, you know, turn auto battle off, manually use Quake to finish them. Wait, two of them actually survived? What? Okay, that was not expected. I was not expecting that to happen at all. I was actually expecting them to die really easily. Oh, it's okay. They're, they're dead now. Look at that EXP though, man. Look at that freaking EXP. Right. Uh, so we should only need two enemies now should do anyway right so we need number 80 which is hal flapper and then we need uh 113 which is balfagor we've got the bloody eye we've got the warrior we've got the mini satana we've got the summoner arachne thunder dragon and then king naga yeah so all we need right now then is balfagor basically once once we get that we are done here and then we can actually move on into the land of summons and there's balfagor okay we're we're done Man, aren't we lucky, guys? That was nice. That was a nice quick run through, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the map in a second as well, just to, you know, make sure we've got everything, which, honestly, we should do. Yeah, 11 out of 11 for the Cave of Summons. So we're going to step on the teleporter and go to the Land of Summons, where there's actually even more treasure chests. First one up there is an Aether. Then we're just going to slowly rotate around, basically, and pick up a bunch as we go. That's weird, why? Okay, well, we'll just step on that for a second and then step back on it. So we can come down for that treasure chest with the rat tail. It's like, don't worry, we'll we'll make use of that in a moment. Well, I say in a moment. All right, there's five thousand gil. Yeah, the rat tail is going to be needed uh, a little a little bit later. That's going to be used for Bahamut, if I remember correctly. Pretty pretty sure it is anyway. So with that we now have all of the treasure chests on this floor okay so now we're gonna just step on this little tile right there to go to a secret room with four more and some of these are actually pretty decent you know we got the yoichi's bow the yoichi's arrow and you know of course the um uh, the elixir and elixirs are always nice but yeah, these are these are pretty good, man. These are definitely pretty good uh, weapons for sure. 
So like if we did, uh, hang on, you reach the arrow, 89 right there. Uh, let me try changing them around a minute actually, which is both, that was 89. And now it's 89 again, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're still not gonna use it though. It's like we could do, we could do, but we're not, we're not going to. Right, okay then. Now, with, with the, um, treasure chest done in there we can now actually go through to the next floor this is the floor that we stepped on uh previously but we had to come back so we can actually get the uh, the treasure chest so now that we have that let's go now in this area there are going to be you know some town uh, some shops some inns stuff like that also this is actually where you would normally normally first learn about the secret summons okay so the chocobo the bombs and so on and so forth and he will basically say oh did you know you could summon ores it's like that that's basically what a lot of the npcs here are you know they're just they're giving you hints about the secret summons pretty much all right so with that said though let's go buy some new equipment shall we Hello, Mr. Bomb. Uh, right, so we are going to get the Aegis Shield because it prevents petrification. We're going to buy two of them. Light Rope, we're going to buy one of them. Only one. And that's only actually because we don't have any. It's like, are we going to use it? No, not, not really. But we might as well buy it. Right, okay. So here we are on the weapon store. So we are going to go ahead and buy a bunch of equipment here. We're going to make sure we have at least one of everything other than Edgy's weapons. He needs two of everything. And now we're just going to go through and optimize again, basically. There we go. All right. Okay. So we're, we're kind of done now, actually. We just need the, uh, the remaining treasure chests, which are in the northern house. Once this guy gets out of the way. Uh, down we go. Wait a minute. Am I in the wrong house? I feel like I'm in the wrong house, maybe. I'm, I'm, hmm, maybe I went to the wrong house. Is there an, yeah, there's another one just up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right there. I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. All right, so there's one treasure chest, and there is two. Okay, so that should be that should be all the treasure chests now. Yeah, so we've got all of the uh, all of the treasure chests. Now, we just need to basically go and get uh, the rest of the items. Now, as you can see, the items is zero out of two. We cannot get them right now. Okay, we have to come back for them later. So for now. Feel free to uh, to ignore that, basically. So let's go and get the uh, the next two summons, shall we? That is going to be Asherah and Leviathan. So in order to do that, we need to go in front of the house in the middle where the chocobo is, and then we're actually going to take the uh, the wall pad. So go downstairs and then step on the wall pad, and this will take us to the throne room. Okay, so for this, heal up and quick save. Definitely, definitely quick save. Some of these fights can be a little, you know. So first of all, we're going to speak to the queen. Queen Asherah, ready dear, what brings you back to us? We need your help. Very well, but first you must prove your worth. That is the way of things here. Do you possess the strength and courage to challenge me? Yep. Let us begin the test. Man, we're going we're gonna to murder this, man. We're, we're going to be murdered of this. Also, just be careful. Asherah does counter attack basically everything you do. So, yeah, little little cautiousness goes a long, long way here. I'm going to have Kyoriga going off constantly. And likewise, we're going to have Quake going off constantly as well. And then we're just going to turn auto battle on. Now, Asher does have around 30, 31,000 health. But as you can see, she does do a lot of damage. That's why I'm using Kyoriga straight from the get-go this time. Just so that we don't have to worry, even though it is a little bit of a drain on MP. That's fine, because it keeps us healthy, you know? That's going to allow us to just basically get the fight done, you know? And this will also be um, one of the five non-secret summons that Rydia can learn as well. So there is there is still quite a few. Uh, one of the other things you could actually do is you could summon Titan, which actually, yeah, I'm going to do that because that should be more damage than Quake. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like, I actually don't know why I'm using Quake instead of Titan. 
Uh, how much is Quake doing? So Quake's doing 3,500. Okay. Hmm. Man, we are really taking a lot of damage from these counters here. I might have to start spamming Cureja, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to start spamming Cureja, actually. It is more expensive, but it's safer. Because at least now I'm going to heal a lot more. Yeah, like 1,500. That's going to out-heal pretty much all the damage that Ashura can really do to us. Come on, right there. 40 MP, okay. But how much damage is it going to do? I mean, I do have Flare, so I could I could actually swap over to that. But we'll we'll see how much we'll see how much time does. Like I do kinda wanna cast holy, but again, we gotta we gotta stay healthy. Staying healthy means we survive longer, and surviving longer means we do more damage. If I swap Rosa over to Holy, yes, we do a little bit more damage, but we'll die so much quicker. And if we die, that means we do less damage. There's no point there's no point stalling using Holy. Alright, so how much is Titan gonna do? Two thousand nine hundred. Hmm. More expensive, less damage. Well, it's fine. The fight's over now, anyway. But now that we've beaten the queen, we can actually fight the king as well. And good exp there. Good exp. You're proving your worth, Ridia. You may summon me whenever you desire. Okay. So Ridia has learned Ashura. So now that now that we've done that, okay, it is time to fight the king. Let's just take a look at. Uh, oh, wrong character. Let's take a look at Ashra first. So cast one of three randomized spells. Kyoga, protect, or life. Honestly, it is a good way of getting AoE protect. And a decent-ish Kyoga, but the life part's kind of bad. And the 50 MP cost, it does kind of ruin that. So, yeah. Uh, feel free to heal on up. Uh, I'm actually going to leave there. And we're going to go to the inn to heal up. Just because... You know, I don't really have many ethers, and I kind of want all of my, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? I want all of my MP for the next fight, basically. Luckily enough, though, Leviathan, who we're about to fight, does actually have a weakness. He's weak to lightning, of course. I mean, look, he's a, he's a giant freaking fish, okay? He's a giant freaking fish. Of course, he's going to be weak to lightning. Other than in the games where the giant fish are not weak to lightning, which always always confused me. You know, I've never I've never really understood why that happens sometimes, but it's fine. Also, just be warned: as soon as you start this fight, you are going to get hit by uh, by tidal wave as well. You are the first to defeat Ashura, but you cannot overcome the evil with strength alone. A strong spirit is required to steer one's powers toward righteousness. Will you test your spirit against mine? Yes. Of course. Okay, so this will actually be a very, very easy fight. We're going to have a cane attack. Edge is going to use Blitz. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me do let me do the turns with the next three characters, please. Right, so Radia is going to use Flare. If you don't have Flare, just use Bio. It's entirely up to you, but we're gonna use Flare. Cecil attack. Rosa is going to use AoE Curator, and then we're gonna turn auto battle on. We literally cannot lose this fight right now. It's like this, this will be over pretty quick. Leviathan, however, does have a huge amount of health. I think it's like I wanna say it's like 50 or 60,000. So, something like that anyway. Obviously, I'm a bit higher level than most because of grinding for Green Dragon and stuff like that. So I do have Flare. That is going to speed this up dram uh, like drastically. But even if you don't have Flare, again, just spam Bio. This setup that I'm using right now with, you know, the AoE Cure every turn, it, it basically makes you unkillable in this fight. This is actually one of the easier fights, if I'm perfectly honest but yeah once we once we win this we will also learn the summon leviathan and leviathan is actually a really really good summon to use to be honest leviathan is actually quite a nice summon to use it is expensive on mp it is very very expensive on mp but it is strong very very strong indeed your spirit is righteous i leviathan king of summons shall serve you Ridia has learned Leviathan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Right. Okay. So, with that, we are completely done in the Cave of Summons and the Land of Summons. For now. For now. We are going to have to come back here later, though, for the uh, the two items that I mentioned. Obviously, we can't do anything with them for now, so we are just going to heal. And then we're going to uh, to completely leave this place. It is time to go to the Sylvan Cave. We just have to actually, you know, get back to our airship first. Which, yeah, Leviathan is now... I mean, if we need good AoE damage, it's actually going to be Leviathan that I start using... Just because it is so strong. It's like, we will have... Uh, no, encounters off. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, run over these, to be honest. Even if I get hurt, it's fine. We aren't going to get into any more encounters. I've just turned them off, so that is perfectly fine. But yeah, um, anytime we use summon now with Rydia, we're going to use Leviathan with it until we get Bahamut. But even then, Bahamut will sometimes be replaced with Leviathan just because of... You know, MP cost. Using Bahamut is expensive. And of course, we don't have Bahamut just yet. Uh, now that I'm out, I'm going to use another cottage, though, just to heal up the damage that I took while we were actually leaving that place. There we go. Right into the airship we go. So, where we're going right now is going to be the upper northern part of the map. Obviously, the underworld map kind of kind of small, so we don't have to worry too much. But we're basically looking for this cave right here. So, this cave, okay, is the Sylvan Cave. There's a little bit of a um, a longer one. However, some some good uh, some good news though is Leviathan, the summon that we just got for Rydia, pretty much one shots everything in this cave. Okay, it is ridiculously ridiculously strong. But again, it is like 50 MP, so your mileage may vary. Depends on how much MP you have. In terms of the uh, the bestery that we need, <coughs> oh excuse me. Yeah, where are we? So, we do need number 79, which is the Undergrounder. Then, after that, we're going to go all the way down to 108. So, this is Tiny Toad. 109 is Bogwitch. 110 is Evil Dreamer. 111 is Mammon. And 112 is Marlboro. Yes, we are going to have Marlboros in this cave and yes they do have bad breath and yes it does inflict every freaking status effect like every other game that they're in so yeah definitely definitely be careful you know quick save if you have to make sure you have a save on the outside of this dungeon just in case but though everybody i am afraid to say we are going to end this one here i do hope you have enjoyed if you have please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below as it greatly helps the channel out and with that said i'll see you all in the next one